Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? The new iOS 18 public beta 6 update is finally here. It took a couple of extra days, but we've got it now. In this video, we're diving into all the new features, bug fixes, and whether or not you should download this update. If you're new here and want more iOS updates, make sure to subscribe to our channel, TechRushi. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about battery drain. It's currently 10.58 AM, and my iPhone 14 Plus battery is at 41%. Stick around to the end of the video to see how much it drops by the time we're done. This should give you an idea of the battery performance on this new update. Now, let's break down the build version. In public beta 5, we had the same build version as this one. So this is the final update before iOS 18 RC and the upcoming stable iOS 18. Onto the new features, the dark mode icon pack and spotlight is now fully functional. The icons in dark mode and tinted mode are all working seamlessly. Previously, we saw some issues with the dark mode suggestion icons not being supported, but that's been fixed now. There's also a new spotlight suggestion. Now, when you type in the spotlight search bar, you'll see additional information. For example, instead of just home or library, you'll get a quick preview that explains how it works, and tapping it will open that setting on your device. Another update is in Apple Maps. When you scroll down, you'll see three new options, share my location, mark my location, and report an issue. I'm not sure if this feature was in previous updates, but it's front and center now, making it much easier to access. Now, let's talk about the cleanup option in Apple Photos. This feature, which allows you to remove background objects, is not available in the public beta yet. It's only in developer beta 3 of iOS 18.1. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, you'll need to wait a bit longer to access this. Next up, bugs. I still don't see the option to mute videos in the Photos app on my iPhone. This feature has been around for a few updates, but it's still missing for me. Let me know in the comments if you've got it on your device. Another issue I've noticed is with the call option. When you disconnect a call, sometimes it automatically dials someone else. This bug has been around for a few updates now. Drop a comment if you've experienced this too. I'm curious to know. Now, let's move on to the bug fixes. The most recent emojis are back. A lot of people weren't seeing them, but they should be available now, so check it out. The control center issue has also been fixed. Everything should run smoothly now. So if you were having any problems with control center before, let me know how it's working for you now. Finally, let's talk performance. This update is running super smooth, no lag or overheating issues. In the previous update, I was noticing some heating problems, but that's been resolved. Even when charging or using your phone heavily, there's no more heat buildup, so that's a win. But what about battery health and battery drop? Well, my battery health is now at 88%, meaning it's dropped 1% with this update. Overall, through six beta updates, my battery has dropped by 6%. If you've recently bought a new iPhone, you might have noticed similar battery drops due to the beta updates. Battery backup is decent too. Right now, I've got five hours and 13 minutes of screen on time and about an hour of screen off time. Not bad. But compared to the stable version of iOS 17, where my iPhone 14 Plus would last two days on a single charge, this beta update is definitely draining the battery faster. That's a common beta issue though. So should you download iOS 18 public beta 6? I'd say yes, it's pretty stable and definitely an improvement over public beta 5. When we started this video, my battery was around 42 to 43%. And now after 15 to 20 minutes, it's at 39%. Battery backup is solid and I haven't encountered any overheating issues. So go ahead and download iOS 18 public beta 6 if you haven't already. Now, what updates can we expect next? We've just seen this update on the 29th, so the next one should be the iOS 18 RC, which is the final stable and secure version of iOS 18. If Apple launches it next week, expect it around September 3rd or 4th. After the Apple event on September 9th, we should see the RC release, followed by the iOS 18 stable update around September 17th. So I hope you all get the latest updates soon, whether it's stable, beta, or developer. Before we wrap up, let me know in the comments how the new iOS 18 public beta 6 update is performing for you, any bugs or issues, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to TechRushi for all the latest iOS updates. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.